What up, Instagram and YouTube? It's your boy Salty Red Corn, and I'm back with another ill prepared knife review video. And today I have probably my all time favorite knife. This is probably going to surprise you guys, but this is actually my favorite knife in the world. Um, I have some sentimental attachment to this particular knife, these types of knives, and uh, let's talk about it. And it's also just one of my favorite all time user knives, all right? So this is the Dexter Russell 1378, all right? This is a boning knife. I use this knife for processing chickens. I use this knife in the kitchen daily for use for cutting food. It's not a chopper, but I use it for everything. I literally, this is my go-to knife for everything. Um, it's just a really simple design. It's been around forever and ever and ever. My grandmother worked on fishing boats. My grandmother processed fish. Uh, my grandmother used this knife, not this particular knife, but this Dexter 1378 for a very, very long time. She had them as far as I can remember. She would sharpen them and sharpen them and sharp sharpen them until they were nothing but a little stick up here, and then she'd go out and buy another one. These are moderately priced, extremely moderately priced. On Dexter's website, they're $34.99. You can pick them up anywhere else for like $17 to $20. And you're getting a lot. You're getting high carbon steel. I'm not sure the composition, but this is really, really heat treated well. It maintains an edge. They take a mirror polished, razor sharp edge if you want that. Um... And it's just a really good steel. I love the patina they take. This is after years of me, like I said, processing animals, um, cooking, vegetable prep, everything, literally everything. Um, rosewood handles with brass compression pins. It's not full tang. This is not a hard use knife. Uh, you're not gonna be batoning with this thing. It has a minimal amount of flex, just the right amount of flex for really getting in and boning. They call this a wide boning knife because typically a boning knife would be a little bit smaller. Um, this is the wide boning knife and I find that the wide version will do just about anything, anything. All right, this is the 1378. They also come 1375, 77, and 78. Those denote the blade length. So this is an eight inch blade and they are made in the USA and they're just so so good as you can see it's got like a knife profile if you think of a knife this is what a knife looks like and it works really well the ergos on the handle are fantastic you could customize these handles you could pull this handle off and pretty much make any handle you wanted um, I'm a fan of the rosewood handle I like the contouring. It's not fully rounded, but it's chamfered all the way around. It's really, really just good. You cannot beat this knife. If you think you can beat this knife, let me know what you think will beat this knife. I would like to hear that. So, uh, yeah, look at the patina on this. It's time for me to sharpen it again. I rarely have to sharpen this. It stays sharp, and when I do sharpen it, it's not hard to sharpen. It's a breeze to sharpen. It's a pleasure to sharpen. I sharpen it on the work sharp system, and I can get a really, really high polish edge on this thing that will last a very, very long time. And you can sharpen this thing on a rock. My grandmother used to use a sharpening stone, and she would just like this, back and forth, and it would come out razor sharp and she would fillet fish literally all day, every single day. Um, and I also used these when I was working on fishing boats as well. Uh, the type of boats that I was working on, we didn't do a whole lot of, of fish cutting. It was more volume working on a dragger, um, but we would cut monks and we would do stuff like that. And this is the knife that I would like to use personally. This is the go-to knife. I can't say that enough. I keep saying it. Um, not a whole lot else to say about it other than it's a fantastic piece of American cutlery. Really, truly is. 
All right, so this is the Dexter Russell 1378. I'd like to try out their fish knife, which is actually kind of more, people are using it as like a bushcraft knife that I've seen. Um, it's got walnut handles and a really unique shape uh, and a little bit thicker blade stock. So it's a little bit more for hard use and it's a lot smaller. I think overall that one is eight inches. Um, whereas this has the eight inch blade. What an awesome, awesome knife. Enough about that. I gotta cut some grass, but let's go over my carry. And then later on, I'm gonna do the brunt wear boot video. So stay tuned for that. So when I cut grass, I like to carry the stick. <laughs> okay, this is the Taurus GC3 with the Olight Balder Mini. I have a 30 round mag in here for fun when I'm cutting my grass in case I run into some coyotes or some bears or something out here. I can take care of that, scare them away, whatever there is. Uh, Delica K390 with serrations. This has been fantastic. I cannot get this knife out of my pocket. I try to carry other knives and I do carry other knives, but I just can't get rid of that one. It's so good. Also, this is the K390 and Della, all right? So I haven't done a video on this. We're gonna have a video on this soon. This is a fantastic knife. Um, a little bit bigger than the Delica. Really nice, same kind of design uh, in K390 but I just like that serrated Delica. I really, really do. Uh, what else we got here? Hinderer investigator pen from my man, Steve Zero. I lost this pen for a little while. It fell between the seats of one of my extra vehicles and I was freaking out because it is not only my favorite pen, but it is my only EDC pen. And uh, I really like it. It's not fidget pen. It's nothing like that to screw off, but I mean, as far as utility goes, this thing is going to last, it's going to work, and I'm not gonna break it. So, Hinderer Investigator Pen. What else do I have here? Tactical Everyday Dad Challenge Coin. This is really cool. He gave this to me at Blade Show. It's got the M60. Love that. I don't normally carry that kind of stuff. I was cleaning out my, my stuff. And I found that and I was like, let me carry that today. I have the on headphones, which I'm going to be listening to when I'm cutting the grass here. And they work really well. I probably won't do a video on them because that's not really my thing. But who knows? Mammoth Headgear Mountain Trucker Hat with the Lucas Burnley patch. My watch is a RL Richard Legrand Odyssey Mark III. This is a very rare version. This was given to me and uh, really, really like it. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. If you like this kind of video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and tell your boy, Salty Red Corn, what you wanna see. I'll do my best to make it happen. Until next time, stay fresh, stay sharp, and peace out.